Create a pool for the test. Enter tickers and initial capital. You can enter tickers one by one via the ticker name field or a set of tickers by filtering or combine it. Enter initial capital via the relevant field. Initial capital is a volume for a whole selected group of tickers, your back-tested pool in other words. Now transport the selected set into the results table below. Here you can still edit by removing the tickers out of the table. Choose long or short trade. Choose the way of testing. Individual testing assigns to each ticker an equal value of initial capital, checks the criteria and makes the transactions of each ticker independently from another. Pool testing tests a set of tickers as a group. It checks every criterion of a strategy for all the tickers from the set and makes transactions according to the capital at risk for one position and maximum size of the pool at one moment. The value of capital at risk can be entered as a percentage when followed by a percentage sign or in absolute value. Maximum size of the pool means the maximum number of tickers in the pool in one day. You can later also prioritize the tickers for buy transaction at the strategy setup. Now select testing period, simply entering the start and finish date. Enter your stop loss, trailing stop loss and take profit values. Each is automatically a percent value. Choose benchmark by entering ticker or name. Enter risk-free return value and the transaction fee, both automatically a percent value. Now we are going to create testing strategy. You can choose from preset strategies or you can customize your own. Choosing a preset strategy, you have several choices as EMAs, Bollinger Band and MACD. Preset methods, you can change periods. If you test the tickers as a pool, you can choose the prioritization criteria by selecting one of the following parameters. Otherwise, it is prioritized in the sequence from the bottom of the table to the top. And then choose the desired OHLC value to be calculated from and click Run. Now you can see the results in two different views, the results table and in graphical forms. In the results table, you can see from right to the left for each ticker and the whole pool. Main parameters, percent net return and annual return, Sharpe ratio and Kalmar ratio, max drawdown and all the other calculated results and necessary setup information. The whole table can be exported to Excel. Clicking on the ticker shows the history of trades for the ticker with the possibility of exporting it to Excel. In the graphical view, you can see the percent net return by month in comparison with the chosen benchmark or default, the S&P 500 index. This is the correlation graph with the back-tested securities by moving a cursor over the field, a pop-up appears. The pie chart showing a diversification of back-tested pool by a sector. Here are the statistics of the back-tested pool and each security. This shows the entry and exit data for each security. Finally, you can see the summary table with the main result data and the return table by month for the pool and each ticker. For a selected group of tickers, your tested pool, you can change all the parameters starting from the long or short trade up to strategy and OHLC values and run it again. 
selecting a new set of tickers, your new pool for the test, all the previous results will be deleted. Before that, you can save your setup and results and then later load it again. You can also use the custom strategy, which means that you can create your own strategy by setting up indicators relative to other indicators and link them through logical conjunction. For example, you want to test the pool to buy if PE ratio is below 10 and EMA 20 crosses above EMA 100 and prioritize with lowest one day performance and sell if the PE ratio is above 20. At the end, you can choose the close value to be calculated from and click Run. The results can again be seen in the Table of Graph view.